Hey everyone, in this video I'll be showing you how to quickly unlock Steam achievements for any games that you own. And with this method you could also do the opposite and reset achievements that you've already earned. And that's especially useful for game developers who are wanting to test that they implemented achievements properly in their games. But for most of you watching this, you'll want to unlock achievements. And some of you might be worried that this might lead to a ban, but there's no need to worry. Tons of people have used this method in the past, and there hasn't been a single report of a ban. And also, there's nothing in the Steam user agreement that talks about achievements, so it's definitely safe. So that being said, let's just jump right into this. So the first thing that you want to do is open up your Steam client and log in. As you can see here, I'm already logged in, and I'm on the achievement page for Portal. So once you've done that, just go to this site right here, the Steam Achievement Manager download page. And I'll leave a link to this in the description. So what you want to do is download the latest release. For me, it's version 7.0.25, but for you it might be different. Just make sure you download the latest one, and you can just click on this link right here to download. So it downloads really quick, basically instant. And once it's done, just extract the files to a folder, and go ahead and open that folder. And then just start the sam.picker.exe. And here you can see the main tool that we'll be using for this. So it automatically populates with all of the games on Steam that you own that have achievements. So as you can see here, there's a ton of games. And if for some reason it's missing a game or maybe even missing all the games because maybe their server's down, uh, you can actually manually add games using their IDs. So to quickly get a game ID, you can go to this site called Steam Database. I'll leave a link to this in the description as well. And just type in the name of the game. Um, we can try Civilization as an example. And once you go to that game page, you can see this app ID. And that's what we want. So just copy that, go back to Steam Achievement Manager, and paste that number into this text box, and then click Add Game. So, of course, I don't own that game, so it's going to give me this error. But if you do own a game and it's not showing up here, you can just manually add them. So assuming that you have the game that you want, um, we can try Portal here. You can just double click on the icon and it'll open up this window with all of the achievements for the game. And it'll show you the ones that you already have with a check mark on the left side. So if we go back to Steam, one thing to note is that when you open up this window for the game, it'll actually show that you're playing the game on Steam. So you know, if you don't want to get your hours up too high, make sure that you close this window um, as soon as you're done. So we can just quickly unlock some achievements here. It's very straightforward. Um, all you gotta do is click these uh, check boxes. For this Aperture Science and Basic Science achievements, I don't have those. Um, they're right here and here. And then once you've checked those, just click Commit Changes to send in those changes. And it'll actually show that you have the achievements. So we can refresh this page. And there we go. We have these two achievements unlocked right now at 10, 10 a.m. Um, and you can do the exact opposite. You can uncheck these, send the changes in, and then refresh this page, and the changes are gone. And you can even do that for achievements that you earned a while back, right? This one's in 2019, Heartbreaker. So we can find that one, uncheck it, send the change in, and then refresh the page, and it's gone. So that's about it for this video. Definitely a really quick and convenient way to manage your achievements. Um, it's especially useful if you think you got an achievement but it glitched out and maybe it just didn't give it to you on Steam. Or you know if you just want to impress your friends or reset all the achievements for a game and kind of re-earn them. Um, lots of useful ways to use this tool. And that's pretty much it. So thanks a lot for watching this video. I definitely appreciate it. And I hope to see you in a future video.